Good afternoon, this is Greg with the National Weather Service in Spokane. It's Tuesday, February 19th, and it's time for our weekly weather briefing. Here's our overview for tonight. Into Wednesday, snow will return to the inland northwest. Our most significant accumulations are expected over southeast Washington, as well as central and southern Idaho panhandle. There will be a brief break in the weather Thursday, followed by more snowy weather returning Friday through Sunday. Early next week, it looks like more cold and possibly snowy conditions. Our current warnings and advisories are in effect on this map. You can see the purple colors are the winter weather advisories, and our winter storm warnings are highlighted in pink. The majority of our significant snowfall for North Idaho and eastern Washington is expected to occur along and south of Interstate 90. Here's our forecast snow map. This is valid for 4 p.m. Tuesday into Wednesday afternoon. You can see our most significant accumulations are expected across the Palouse and into the central and southern Idaho panhandle. Areas in the yellow and orange colors can expect 6 to 10 inches of snow by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon. We're looking for 2 to 4 inches around Spokane, maybe 4 to 6 in the Coeur d'Alene area. The I-90 corridor has the potential to be on the northern edge of this system, so our confidence in these amounts in the Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, and Kellogg areas is a little bit low at this time. and the, Some of these spots may get a little less snow than on this map. So stay tuned to the weather forecast. Here's a closer look at the snow forecast for Tuesday 4 p.m. to Wednesday 4 p.m. We're looking for light snow this afternoon. Increasing this evening and continuing through early tomorrow morning, the areas in the orange on the timeline there suggest that's when our most significant accumulations will occur. Further south, our confidence is higher that these amounts will reach the moderate to heavy snow category. We're looking at light snow this afternoon increasing through the evening and continuing longer in the day through Wednesday than further north. Uh, hence our heavier snow accumulations. It probably won't be until tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening that the snow will taper off to light snow showers. Below average temperatures have been the norm this month and we're looking at significantly colder than normal temperatures to continue all the way through next week. Here's a snapshot of our seven day forecast. Keep in mind Spokane is supposed to be about 41 degrees for a high temperature this time of the year. We'll be a solid 10 to 15 degrees below average region wide uh, for the next seven to ten days at least. Our active weather pattern will take a break on Thursday, but Friday into the weekend we're looking for more cold weather. The snowy pattern returns. It looks like our best bet for accumulating snow will be over the Idaho Panhandle, where snow levels will be down to the valley floors, even down to the LC Valley. The eastern third of Washington, as well as the Cascade Crest, will also have a good chance for seeing more accumulating snow Friday into the weekend. The one silver lining for this forecast uh, in the weekend looks like where no big wind is expected so with all the fluffy snow around I don't think we're going to see significant blowing and drifting at this time. As we get into the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center uh, we're looking at above average confidence that will be colder than normal February 27th all the way through March 5th. Uh, the outlook for precipitation today calls for at or below normal precipitation for this time period. But we've seen uh, quite a bit of variability in this outlook the last several days. So you may take that with a bit of a grain of salt. February has been quite extraordinary as far as the snow that our region has received. The communities on this list have broken snowfall records for the month and it was only data from the 18th so we'll be adding to these totals. What's particularly impressive about a list like this is that we have communities 
represented from North Idaho, Southeast Washington, Central Washington, and Eastern Washington. So uh, widespread snow this month across the entire inland northwest. Here's the February 17th snow water equivalent data from the NRCS and the last two weeks of snowy weather has brought these values up. This is the water contained within the snowpack around the region and we can see for Washington we have between 80 and 100 percent of normal snow water equivalent in our basins. Move over to North Idaho and we are at 95 to 100 percent of normal. So uh, we've seen some significant gains in our mid and low level elevation snowpack uh, over the last couple of weeks. So that concludes our briefing for today. Uh, we encourage you to visit weather.gov slash Spokane for updated weather forecasts and we will talk to you again next week.